here I am at Donington. I've come out here for a track day. My old teammate, Jimmy Broadbent, who's got some lovely kits, got some lovely Japanese models. He's got his Toyota Supra, which I know quite well. He's got the Mark IV, which is the car I crashed um, in my 20s in 1998, sadly. Um, but he's tuned his up, as have many of these guys. I mean, this, we're at Donington, it's freezing cold, hammering with rain, and these guys have got some seriously overtuned cars. This one has been tuned up by Litchfield. The advantage, at least, of the GTR is it's got four wheel drive. Jimmy's is this over boosted Supra with rear wheel drive, it's quite a heavy car. But what could possibly go wrong? I mean, this is kind of like, you don't even have to wear a racing suit for this. You can just turn up in your jeans, t shirt, put a helmet on, and you can be a track day hero. So I'm very curious to see how many of these cars will actually survive the first 15 minute warm up. We'll find out in a minute. The amazing thing with this is that you can literally just drive from your house in your road car to the track and then out you go, like this lot. The downside, of course, is that if you crash, you have to get a lift home or an Uber. Your Uber's outside. It's a long way to go. That looks like it's going to be quite saucy. Ford Focus RS, I think he's got the, the highest percentage chance of staying on the track. I think it's going to be, it's got to be a GTR in the gravel first. We'll find out. Sorry, there's, uh, there's Ben coming in. Ben's arriving now in this private jet. Good, good to have him here, you know. Um, yeah, the premise of today, uh, we haven't done any intro yet, so I'm going to do one now. So we're at Donington Park. It's very wet. It's December the 5th. My brain. And, uh, and we've invited the stick, also Ben Collins, around there. No shit. To uh, come drive this Supra. Apparently he likes it for some reason, I don't know why. We'll ask him a bit. Are you, do, are you doing a bit? We're we both doing a bit as well. Are you doing a bit? We're both doing bits, oh, isn't you, We could both do bits at the so same as, time. So as, as a fellow YouTuber. He's a yeah. YouTuber. Am I a fellow YouTuber <laughs> yeah, now? Yeah. Yes, I've yeah. made it. Mate, great to see you. Yes, and you. Yeah, um, all good. We're going to drive this absolute shed, I mean, a uh, weapon of a car. I love it. Is this, this, is a, this is a real patina, isn't it? This is real. You haven't painted that on. This no, is... that comes from the sunny island of Fanet. Um, is that where it's from? No, that's where it lived for a very long time and uh, didn't really do very well. We've now not addressed that at all and right. given it more power, as every super enthusiast does. So actually, you, are you going to let me drive this as well today? Yeah, I mean, I reckon you've got, I reckon you've driven a few cars, you know. Yeah. I reckon you're, you're okay. It's well, thanks. Be, be okay. I, mean, I did just do the sight lap though. Yeah. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> so you've, this, how, how much power has this got? Because originally it was what? It's, this is the non-turbo car. Yeah, non -turbo. Which is actually, it's the same car I had in the 90s. So, it's, what is it, 225 originally? Yeah, and, you, and you, you, you crashed that one, didn't you? You know about that, don't yeah, you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which I, I think is it's really special of you to let me drive one then. That's all right. So, yeah, that's got, it's got double the power of that pretty much. Uh, this is 450. Wow, okay. Um, single turbo conversion. Um, it's, it's pretty decent. It's got a nice diff on it, so it's not too bad getting on power. Yeah. Um, but on the sight of lap, I was all spinning on top of third gear. That was great. Nice. So, because um, so you, you, you don't have wet tyres, do you? Because this no. is a track day special. So, yeah. track day heroes, you don't have all the kit. You just turn up, no racing suit, you just put a helmet on, yeah. and you go out. So despite appearances, Jimmy's actually got himself quite a tidy little car here. And if you're looking to buy a Japanese muscle machine, then you want to make sure your one hasn't been shunted on a track day or stolen or got some dodgy history. And the best thing to help you with your next car purchase is Car Vertical. And by punching in the VIN number or the registration into Car Vertical, you get a full report, you get a full history search to make sure that you're not buying a lemon. So let's say you want to buy a Toyota Supra like this one, you punch in the details and finding what looks like a decent looking car but you get the full report wow you see one like this and the roof's been completely caved in which means it's been rolled probably on an icy road by the look of things and it's got a dodgy mileage which means you can't trust this car at all you never know really what's happened to it so it's a bad financial decision don't buy it so stay safe use car vertical and you can use my special discount code or you can click on the description in this video enter bcd is my super discount you get 10 percent off and buy safe. I like that. Yeah. But you've like done these. This, this is, you've done all types of. You've been, you've been to the Nurburgring. You've been racing with Prado, but you've yeah, been so, I mean, boosting me, your experience with these with these days. For me, recently, it's just about yeah, as you say, just drive as much as possible, any any condition, any any sort of car, whenever I can, to yeah. experience. So, for me, this car and the car behind it, the MX-5, are basically just here as tools of practice. They're almost designed to be as difficult as possible 
So that when you get in them and you get into them a bit easier, like, oh, yeah. this is how cars actually drive. I would say the Mazda is a tool of practice, and this is more of a tool of death. Yeah, a, a tool of torture. 450 <laughs> horsepower on an intermediate tyre in the rain on a cold day at Donington. I won't even say intermediate, to be honest. <laughs> really? <laughs> okay. So you've got wheel spin in all gears, probably. Yep. Um, and that's fun? It's great. I mean, the, you'll feel it coming. Because um, basically, yeah, like any turbo car, higher and faster go, more boots you have. Yep. Um, so top of RPM, it starts to go there. But um, there are dry patches out there, or dry air patches. Yeah. And with these tyres, if you're on those, it'll stick pretty well. You'll, you'll get understeer before you get oversteer. Um, so it's not as bad as it seems, but I can, it's a bit intimidating when you get in this car and look at the conditions out there. I can imagine. Your, your thing with you, honestly, is you have completely changed. You've, you've transformed. In two, two years I've known you, from when you started, there's no way I'd have got in a car with you as a passenger. <laughs> you, every, every, you were rotating, you were off. I saw you doing some extraordinary things. I remember at Cops. I was like, how did he spin at it Cops? Good, it, was good, it was a good move. I think, you ran, I think you almost did a handbrake turn on some grass. You locked a wheel. And it was huge rotation. And a lot of people would have just been like, this is, this is a terrifying experience. But you, you've, you've sort of bludgeoned through all that. And you've just gone through leaps and barrels. You won the championship, which was, you know, obviously you know, you're, because you're we famous didn't. now on my YouTube for that one clip yeah. of when you're like, I'll get you next time, bro. I will get Su you. Super villain. <laughs> yeah, whatever. I'll get you next time, bro, Ben. <laughs> I will, I will get you. It was me and Jay Morton, obviously you and uh, Gordy did a great job and, and you, know, you were consistent and that's what you've developed, it's an incredible consistency. But even, you know, the Praga, high downforce, it's quite a grippy car, it's quite stable. And so you've done all that, but now you're tackling the Nürburgring yes. and beasts like that. And these things are, you know, they're terrifying. If, if you don't know what you're doing with all that power and not enough grip. I think this is, as long as you're, I mean, you, you know how to drive all these cars, mate. I mean, you, you've driven far more than I have. Um, it's just being soft. Just being progressive, and when it, it's going to let go, you'll know about it. Yeah. Um, the only place that I have any sort of concern at the moment is literally in the straights, because it, it will go um, at the top of the RPM when it's at the full boost. But yeah. So it's spicy. It is, it is spicy, but it's fun. There was no point where I'm out there thinking, oh, I'm going to have a crash. It's more just like, oh, I'm going to have a nice little slide. That's yeah. Fun. Look, to be honest, mate, I, as I look around it, <laughs> it does look like. You know, like a bit of a dog from the outside. Is that a bit harsh? It's yeah, got some dents and scrapes. It looks like it's been left in a shed for a long time. And I'm just concerned slightly about the state of preparation and what you've done to it. And have you done this with your own merry hands or have you had some helpers? Well, I mean, never ever trust me to do anything with a car. Um, this is, uh, this car is prepared by the guys over at uh, Jack Performance Parts. And they are basically completely um, focused on, as the name suggests, Japanese cars. Yeah. And it looks awful on the outside, but that's about it. Yeah, um, that's all part of the act. Yeah, yeah, it's part, yeah, it's part, if, okay. if, if a Supra can ever be a sleeper, this is, this is one of them, I think. So um, there aren't many track prepared cars, uh, Supras. They tend to be like drag cars or drift cars. Yeah. This has um, completely custom uh, suspension arms on it. Um, nice upgraded, uh, upgraded HK suspension. Uh, nice motorsport alignment. We've got a proper, um, fuel pump in the back of a swirl pot as well. It's basically a race car okay. for the road. I hate that saying, but it is that. Yeah, and the cage, who's put that in? That's a half cage. Yeah. That'll be a, that's the guys over at JBB again. Yeah. And um, if, one mainly for this thing, as you know, they're a bit heavy, they're a bit, a bit floppy, these cars. They so are. That's got rid of a lot of that. Mine had no ABS. So mine, it was a, non, it was a non turbo five speed. Mm. So this is the Mark IV shape, which is what, the one that people love. I think because mm. of the Fast and Furious films. And um, it, was, it was an absolute weapon. I, although I realized quite quickly that actually a hot hatch would, mint, would just <laughs> rinse this on the street. But they are so much fun. They're like really engaging. And I'd, also what I love about them is the cockpit it really wraps around you. You feel yeah, like yeah. you're in a fighter plane. Um, all of which wrapped around my ears when I, when I crashed it on a country lane. But it's, it, the car is strong. Well, you've got a while to the barrier here. So if you do go off, you've got a while to think about your mistake. I'm not planning to. <laughs> can, you, can you show me around what you've done with the motor? Because yes, you seem okay. very proud of the turbo. This is, um, it's still the automatic, oh, sorry, automatic slash non-turbo engine. So it's two yeah. JZ GE. Um, there's no T in there. Yeah. However, we have put a T on it. So it's now almost a turbo engine. Um, they're a bit different inside, different piston, different compression, I think. Um, but it's not much difference. Yeah. Um, turbo, I, I think it's, uh, I think it's a, I don't know what turbo is, I forget. Um, I should probably should ask the guys. It's large. Who built it. It's big enough, yeah. It's good yeah. for more horsepower than we're making, which is about uh, 450. Four, okay. So I was reading about these, and I'm not uh, any, I'm, I'm always concerned with tuning and things being overdone. Apparently, this engine, though, it, you can tune it to 2000. 
Yeah, I mean, and with, it will take it. With, with the right bits inside it, you can do a lot, a yeah. lot to this, uh, this engine. But um, for us, it's not about power, it's about drivability. Yeah. Because uh, we're doing days like this where you want to have a little bit of you know, warning before you have the yeah. big boost moment. But um, you know, we've worked on sort of cooling, trying to duct a little bit of cold air here. Our cold air intake's just below yeah. um, here as well. So um, it performs much better than you thought in you know, a big duty cold. So you've gone to all this trouble and expense to create more power, but, but why wouldn't you invest in some wet weather tyres <laughs> and just make your life a little bit easier, take the stress out? I don't have an easy life, you know, you've been here. <laughs> right, <laughs> so ne next time I come, I'll, I'll bring some rubber with me. But I like the way you can see through, straight through to the bottom, you know, through the floor here as well. It's, uh, it's interesting, isn't it? Is yeah, that? Just trying to get a bit of a gap, more air. Yeah. Than, so you've made some efforts to lighten this by the look of it. A little bit. Not a lot. I mean, a lot of it goes back in with the half cage. Yeah. Um, I think we, we've, we're net 30 lost, I think. 30 kg lost. It's great. Stock, which is nice. Uh, a couple of relocations of certain things as well. Yeah. Uh, back to the boot of the car and stuff like that. Um, just to really give us a bit more room and to try and spread the weight a little bit. But this is a really clean example. I mean, it's got a couple of, I mean, my, to be, I know I was joking about the paint, you could fix that, but there's no major rust and it hasn't, doesn't look like it's been shunted. Yeah, in, in terms of shafting, it's, it's amazing. Like, yeah. I don't think I've seen a cleaner Supra, but of course, it's quite hard to look at that when you're looking at all these horrible headlights and all this stuff up here. But yeah. For me, it's part of the fun. You yeah. see this car and go, oh, what the fuck's that? And then you're flying by them around the outside of the corner somewhere. You know, so. Well, everyone loves Skylines, GTRs, but these, Actually, they're, they're now really, you know, people are really being drawn back into the Japanese models that we grew up with and they're becoming super popular, aren't they? Go, go to collectors' cars. Yeah, I mean, if you have a nice version of this, you can easily get 30 or 40,000 pounds for it. Yeah. Oh, that. Nissan. Oh, of course, they all have a horrible time. Um, but yeah, these are, they're going to have value. I mean, this, this wasn't that, this was a fairly cheap example given how it looks, but um, yeah. you can easily fetch quite a bit from now, so it's good to hold on to if you have one. Yeah, mega. All right, well, I'm excited to see how we compare. But I might, I think if it's all right, maybe we go out, you can show me a bit of, you know, yeah. show me around your car um, on track and then um, maybe set me loose later. This, this is the first, you've got Stig getting in the car with me. I'm going to terrify him. <laughs> it's going to be the end of the day. I'll take my notepad with me, <laughs> see what you can do. Okay, boy. I think your previous guy was a bit, a bit scruffy. Can I take some of this out? Is that, is that okay? Is this, what is that? Is that for wiping your bum if it gets a bit nerve wracking? No, or I'll keep that. It is, you know what's lovely? They've got real burble to them, these Supras, haven't they? Yeah, I mean, it's just that straight six, mate. Three, three litres of goodness. This feels very strange, going out on a track in jeans, no gloves. Yeah, track, track day, isn't it? <laughs> it's hilarious. Got your spanners in the car. Oh, I don't know about that. I'm not sure if I'm a we'll find out. So how much power are you running now? All, all, 450? 450. The full whack, okay. I'm going to find out what it's like first. Down here, it's a bit of a river at the moment. Stupid oars, stupid river. Yeah. Yeah, there's a few puddles, just, you know, want to, want to watch those, I guess. Old hairpin. There's a nice line here. It's got good grip on these tyres, actually, for Inters, really good. It's definitely floating on top a little bit. Yeah. Baby, I'm scared. So you're hunting for a bit of grip up the inside, nice. We're catching that Nissan. Oh, f <laughs> nice little bit of heel and toe. It's what I like to see, Jimmy. That's especially with this thing. It's got so much torque going through the rears.
Ya. Very smooth, Jimmy, very smooth. Little wide line at the hairpin. Oh, another wheel spin. We're making good progress here, though. No, I don't want to encourage you to do it, you know, got to be careful with these boys because they might not even have seen us. I, can I sense you're getting a little bit excited at this point. Yeah, he wants to scalp these Nissans, clearly. What are the rules exactly on a track day? You can't overtake in the corners, is that right? Yeah. Okay, that's nice. He let you past. This one's not so sure about that. Oh God. Yeah. I can feel it walking around, but we're getting overtaken actually by a forklift. He's quite quite nimble, that guy. Very nice. Well, oh, flipping heck. Yeah, I think it's best you concentrate, Jimmy. There's a lot going on here. Leaving in third, eh? I mean, I'm going to cool down a bit now because yeah. I'm pretty happy with that. But... So where are we on the temps? Is it getting up a bit? No, we're okay. We're still at 90. Yeah. Son of a... It's good, huh? <laughs> yeah, it's great for you. Yellow light. <laughs> right, this is good. I get a break. Right. <laughs> I'm okay. That's all right. Oh, we're back on again. Back on. Yeah, nice little rotation. Yeah. Are the brakes pretty strong? She's mega. I'm impressed.
So you're cooling the engine a bit at the moment? Huh? You're cooling the engine? Yeah, we're just going to put a comment now. Because I just wanted to show you how it is, you know what I mean? Yeah, it's been great. It's been, I, mean, it's I, I, I trust you 100%, but uh, for me, like, it, it's fine. A couple of little moments there, there's some power, but it, it, it's nothing that you can't control, you know? Yeah. It's not scary. Be, um, I'm really su I'm surprised actually, it's very smooth. You got There's a nice feeling of grip. As soon as you went out, I was you were going around immediately quicker than I thought the car would be capable of on those tyres. And you're very smooth with it. There's a lot going on with the steering, but it's it feels quite predictable, actually. That's always the thing of this car, but it does feel like really chilled out once you start getting into the rhythm. Yeah. I still can't get my head around the slack safety. Of the tr of the track day. That's surprisingly casual. I mean, quite grippy. There you go. Um, but it is. It's just very casual. It's the normal lap belt, and off you go. Sliding around in your 450 horsepower car on a wet track. It's quite cool. We went past a lot of GTRs. The biggest thing out there was you and the Porsche, I think. Yeah, yeah, we, we were slowing down with the Porsche. Uh, yeah. Came by us yeah, otherwise, you'd have had no chance. Yeah, of course, yeah, as you know. You know so but those tyres are actually working quite well. I, was, I thought they were sticking better than I expected. I'm sure you can, you can feel it, but um, sort of going up towards uh, McLean's and Coppets out there, Tan, you are kind of flowing a bit. Yes. On, on the water up there. I mean, you, you can go to the outside. And... Well, you're out complaining through Quainer. Yeah, yeah, which is fine. Sure, yeah. I mean, you, you know, I don't want to tell you the shit, you know, you know, you know it's better than I do. Well, we'll find out in a minute. So, can, are you right for me to have a little whirl in this? Yeah, of course. Do you want to come with me or, or do you want to stay in? I think, for my own personal sake, you know, I, I, I'm a worse passenger than you are, I can tell you that. So, I think I'll, Fair be, enough. I'll leave you to it. If it's a red flag, I'll find it later. Fair enough. Oh, well, thank you. Oh, that, that's great. Give me the ropes, though. And I think it's always nice to see how you drive it and um, what the feeling's like. Brakes wise, do they get. Are they all right being pounded? I mean, I was literally just yeah. really, really easy. I mean, you can give it a go. I mean, the thing with these, um, these pads is that they're pretty good. But the, I think the ABS in the car is quite dated. Yeah. So you might end up actually. But you've got ABS. Mine had none. Yeah. It is um, there. So. All right, cool. All right, give it a whirl. Thank you very much. I might try, if you don't mind, I'm going to try using the belts. Yeah, we'll just, uh, you know, just an old rule of mine. I'm very excited. You know what, it's great to be reunited with the Supra. So different, he's bolted on a different steering wheel. I missed the original steering wheel on the Supra was amazing. It's really meaty. This is pretty substantial too. But everything on the controls and everything is really, really robust. Again, he's sort of slimmed down the, the neck of the gear stick, but the actual lever is sort of quite an agricultural lump. It's got a big handbrake. But the way the, the cockpit wraps around the driver, you get a really sort of a, an occasion when you sit in these cars, so I love it. Although, you know, some of the refinement has been stripped out, but the core of what this car's about is still here, so I'm excited to be out in it. Um, and um, maybe a little bit, I don't know, it's a bit of a memory. The last time I sat in one, I did wrap it around a 12-ton truck. So I'll try not to do that today. You know, driving in these conditions in the rain with flooded track is really hard. And uh, straight out of the pit lane, I immediately could sense that he could sense the grip of the car it, it, instinctively now. And that's come through experience, but I think also it's, he's definitely you know, develop that discipline through the sim racing has definitely helped him. But he's really, yeah, he's just come on leaps and bounds. And I, I felt very comfortable. Even when he was slithering around through the craners at 100 miles an hour, acting and sliding out of the um, first corner at the cleans, you know, with most people, that would be a reason to get out. But actually, he's, he, you know, I feel pretty confident with him. So I hope I can return the favour, not get too carried away. So you're going out with him, Jimmy? Yeah, against my better judgment. Uh, it's nothing against um, Ben at all. I did the same thing because um, Ben and his brother drove us the other day as well. And I just, uh, I can't bring myself to be a passenger. I'm such a bad passenger. Um, I, I mean, I trust Ben. He's driven so many different cars uh, very, very fast and very, very well. But it's always different because you're car you're sitting there. But I've got to drive his home later, so. Um, did you go out with Alex or not? No, I didn't go out with Alex. So, uh, yeah, <laughs> I'll be all right. A bit of peer pressure. Yeah, massive peer pressure. <laughs> so that boost button being up, is that's max power? Yeah, you can put, if you want to have a bit of a slower start, just click it down, give you about 330 or so. Okay, and then we put it up to 450. And you've got your, your air freshener in here. Yeah, it's, 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 Bloody hell, what was that? Fair enough.
I was looking up how much downforce that tail, um, that whale tail creates. Yeah. And I think it, at about 100 miles an hour, it creates about 20 kilograms of downforce, which is very little. So it's more, it's more show than go. That's ignition. Oh, you've got a master switch there, have you? It doesn't light me, Jimmy. The car's frightened. So this car, is, what is it? You've got a fingerprint thing going on, recognition? The Supra loves Jimmy. So despite your initial reluctance, you're now in the, in the passenger seat. How, how are you feeling? Um, the same reluctance I felt when I was not. Yeah, I don't blame you. Right, are you bolted in and ready? I'm ready, I'm as ready as I'm ever going to be. All right, let's have a go at this then. That's that familiar clunk you hear in the, with the rear diff. When yeah, you yeah. turn tight, it's got that massive um, locking diff, hasn't it? Yeah. Bloody hell. It's a bit gnarly there, isn't it? The rear end is quite creepy. You're very in tune with this car, I can tell. It's actually quite, it's quite lively. As in, it's quite floaty at the back end. What's, is that maximum or? Yeah. You're, you're on the road now. Yeah. Is that where you want to be, low or high? I want the good stuff. Bloody hell! Wheel spinning the straight, Jesus. I didn't like your wide line, I'm gonna try it different. I'm gonna try and stay on the cleaner stuff coming out. That's not really helping, it helps a little bit maybe. All right, here we go. I'm gonna be a bit lazy, oh geez, leave it in third. That's quite good actually for ABS, it's quite aggressive, isn't it? I think that might be second, that corner. Oh, we're lighting up in the straight again. Do you know what, it's a really nice balance and it, it is quite gentle the way it moves around, but the Jesus, when the power comes in, and there's no aero building up, is there, from that wing? Nothing. And it's just slightly spooky through here. It's these massive wheels on that uh, standing water. <laughs> it's really slippery here at the old hairpin. I'm going to short shift to fourth and creep it through here with a bit of speed. Oh, geez. That little Seat is doing quite well in these faster corners. God, it's really slippery in these corners, isn't it?
Yeah. Jeez. How's our temperature? Are we okay? How's your sphincter at this point? You okay? You happy? Shall I call her off? Yeah, I think so. So I'll do a calling lap and then bring it in. Yeah, we'll do that. This is what I remember about the Supra. Yeah. Lots of power, quite heavy, and hot hatches just cruising around like without a care in the world and a bit more steady in the corners. But this one, you've tuned it really well, Jimmy. It's just gnarly, the, the amount of power without the downforce in these things, whoa. You have to really pay attention. Yeah. Convertible Merc, hilarious. On a daylight, no, it's a, is that a Porsche? Is that a nine, what is that? 
It's a TBR! Oh my lord! Wow! Gnarly! How's our temp? Are we okay? Yeah. Yeah. What's this? I've got Janetta. What do you think about my line through that hairpin? We'll have, we'll have to debate that one when we get back in. The line here was good, I think. I think it was definitely faster than the camera, aren't you? I, loved, I like cheating hairpins. <laughs> oh, that's not it, that's the indicator. All right, here we go. It's spot the pit garage. All right, where's 28? There we go. Look at the signs of relief. Yeah, lovely. Jimmy, thank you. That was a lot of fun. Thank you, that was a experience. It's, um, it's unnerving as a passenger because there's a lot happening in this thing, especially where you wouldn't expect it. I think that the big thing is there's just no downforce. So you, where you, you know, from where we've been racing in the Praga, where you'd expect to start getting some support, it's not. It's just roller skate the whole time, isn't it? I think that's part of the good thing about the star. It keeps you able to deal with that. You know, I mean, there's a downforce star that happens to speed going off, but in this, it's just um, yeah, it's, it's, it's definitely reactive. <laughs> yeah. But it's really sound, like the. The setup, I was concerned that you might have gone super stiff with everything um, for the dry and everything, and obviously on that tyre as well, but actually, super playful. We made it, we can go and have an ice cream now. There's a beast, but actually it's quite a drivable beast. It's quite smooth, so he's, Jimmy set it up really well, so I thought he might have set it up quite stiff and gnarly especially to make the most of these inter tyres, but it's quite drivable. I mean, you made it look quite easy. <laughs> then you go out and, but like I was saying, the tail on it, yeah. it doesn't produce any downforce. You, you look at this huge whale tail and you would think you get all that support and grip from it, but you don't. It's just um, yeah, I a mean, drift monster. Especially down the, uh, the craters as well. It's quite wet down there still, so it's just kind of go through there and guess. But um, yeah, I can see why uh, that was a stick for many years. You know, I've never actually been in the car with him. But uh, jumped in much quicker than I was, no. and uh, also much more playful. Uh, you remember that bit where I said rev to six and a half, and you're like, no, actually, I'm going to rev to seven and a half. Is that, I don't remember that part. <laughs> Sorry about that. I just, I, I, did, I found the rev limiter. Yeah, you found it. That was at the top. <laughs> yeah. But it's interesting with you as well, like different lines through the hairpins, because you're always looking for grip and everything. And uh, you went super wide, yeah, the Melbourne. Yeah. And uh, I love cheating hairpins. And actually, at that one, I found even in the wet, you can massively cheat, get across the curb on the, yeah, uh, yeah. the Melbourne, and you can cut the distance and cut the time. But what, what's hilarious is chasing. That was exactly my experience of this in '98. Yeah, yeah, yeah. so my race engineer had an Audi A3, which is what I subsequently bought when I destroyed my Supra. And um, I just remember it, it, it could stop, it could break so much later, so much lighter and nimble. So we were chasing that Sia. He was just cruising around, and we were catching him. But it was all over, you know, we're all over the place, literally yes. three craners, and you can see how stable oh, yeah. he is. But yeah, we've got about 200 horsepower on that. It was a, it was yeah. a quite part Civic, and it was oh, just uh, all over. It was just so much, so much quicker than we were. But we had, we had a better time, right? We were having more fun. 100. <laughs> percent I mean, you know, you need wheel spin in fourth gear. I think it's a wonderful <laughs> thing. Despite that, though, it's you know, for the power, 
and given the conditions, it's really well sorted. And I, I also really like the ABS. Actually, it's really on the limit. You've got it squirming. Yeah. I don't know how you, have you deliberately set it up that way? Is it a freak no, of nature? I, I think it's genuinely it's because of the pad we have on it. Okay. You know, it's quite aggressive. So it's overreacting on the rear. Yeah, a little bit. But it's, it's quite pretty nice. cool because you actually kick the, you know, can kick the tail in on the brake, point it that way. Love it. I'm glad you had fun. I'm glad yeah. we both survived. No, I'm, I'm very grateful for that. <laughs> and, um, yeah, it's good to see you've re you know, reinvented the Supra. Yeah, maybe, maybe we'll try it out next time. But it's, I think it's interesting to see how you compare with the boys in those GTRs because they've got more power, more wheel drive. Um, but at the moment, you look like the quickest thing out there. Well, I think once it drives up, that changes. But, um, for them, yeah. in their favour. I mean, it's, uh, you have a thousand horsepower in the wet, I think you're quite quite clever to be a bit apprehensive. Yeah. Yeah. So, casual chat. Um, I guess, easy question. I love it. Yeah, it's great. I mean, it's it's way better than the one I had, for starters. <laughs> oh, this is and, good um, one piece. Yeah, and it's got um, much more drivable power, because you've, you've turbocharged it, so you've got you know, usable power all the way through. But I was, really, I was quite surprised by how much grip it made. So, yeah, I love it. I mean, it looks like a beat racing car does. I mean, it's a bit of a shell inside, isn't it? So some of the, the beauty of the original Supra is out, but you still get that nice feeling in the cockpit, and it just looks the bomb. I was just chatting to someone who's got some of all these DTR boys, and they're all four-wheel drive down, and they're understeering everywhere, because that's what, they, that's what those cars do. Whereas this is on the nose, it's slithering around, which I think is much more fun, engaging balance. Yeah, I mean, it's, it rotates nicely. It's not not too bad. It doesn't go the other way where every time you get the brakes, you have yeah. got a nice little bit there. Um, any improvements for it, you reckon? Hey, if you'd say, right, I would like this on this car, what would you say? I feel bad saying it, but it's the first thing I think of is that it wants more aero. Um, because it's it's really fun. You've got that much power. You can skate it about. But actually, you to, to be able to develop some downforce as the speed goes up and to be able to carry, I just want to carry on through craters. And that, that make, I suppose to make it more super GT like. Now, you, know, you go on YouTube, you look at those, those old races, super GT in, in uh, Japan, it's, um, <laughs> you can see why. And they, because they, they tune these things to perfection. But I, I mean, there are things you can do, it's a bit of fun, but I, I mean, clearly, if you're going to do something that's going to create a clear downforce, it would have to be quite radical and very expensive. So you have another downforce. Yes, maybe that would ruin what it is, because ultimately this is a road car you've converted to take on track days, and, and it's kind of perfect. So I suppose, okay, so bringing it back to Earth, um, what can you do? Like, I, think, I mean, the brake's really good. I like the ABS, because you can kick it into the corner. You can, you know, you can rotate it on the brake, which is quite cool. Um, I suppose the only thing you've got, which I noticed, because you were telling me to be careful, was the, you know, the way it's heating up, so maybe a bit more cooling. We have thought about whacking some poles in this, but obviously you've got um, so we'll think about that, but, uh, but I'm glad you enjoyed it. Um, I did, I really liked it. And, uh, and I, again, you know, it's amazing that you haven't gone that route of just stiffening everything, because that would just kill all the grip in the wet. So I'd, you know, I'd love to try it. Actually, what would be really fun out would be in the dry, where you probably can really rinse it through the high speed sometimes, but you can have a grip in the tyre. So yeah, I'd love to try that. No, I, can't, I, I think you've, you've created a really balanced car, which I'm surprised by, because you are you know, an innate hooligan. And, um, and I, I love the fact you can just hop between these two completely different ends of the spectrum from low power, high grip, lightweight to absolutely outrageous power. It's fun. It's fun. Uh, speaking of hooligans, uh, we do have another Right. Uh, it's a bit fast. It does have aero. It does have a bit of turn on it. Okay. It's made to go very fast. Right? Once it's fixed, is this a time attack? It's a time attack. Oh, it's a bit green. Really fancy going there. I would love to have a go at that. Is that another fill killer? That, that's a, it's not even a Phil killer. Like, Phil would have no chance. Phil, Phil doesn't get to sit next to that car. There's no way. He, I mean, he said it, but I just before I bring it up, he doesn't obsess over his car. He knows it's true, though. Yeah. He does know it's true. But this is, a, this is, so this is not, yeah. I mean, you've got less aero on this one, you've got the time attack car, you've got all the way. Yeah, the time attack car is the, um, the, the home remortgaging. This is the, uh, let's just go and be on that. Yeah. So I'd love to see it. It's quite, quite
think about the pistol range. Uh, where everything, everything's built. <laughs> It's like 500 cats just died in the next county. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, it's, it's not like it's not being prepared. It's yeah. just a bullshit things, but uh, yeah, that feels some fun. But, uh, but you're hammering it on the time attacks. So Sorry, you've got that, you've got the Praga. No, the Praga now is um, taking a bit of a rest. Okay. But, um, yeah, Praga is actually the prototype champion. Uh, yeah. There's no one else to put up. Yeah. So it was ideal for it. And then, the, the, so now you're going to do full on steel metal. What do you call the Kermit? Um, that's called Minty. Minty, yeah. I'd love to drive it too, you fix it, but don't blame me if it blows up again. I will. I'm quite blown away. This is actually my first ever track day. I, I find that really hard to believe. I, I've never done it. it. It's very relaxed. It's quite slack in some ways. <laughs> yeah, I know. The attire and everything gives it away. But um, I've really enjoyed it. Like, I mean, it's kind of inspirational. I might come and do some more. You should. Yeah. It's a really easy way, I think, to get out. One, to deal with a lot of things that are outside your control. Um, sometimes people maybe don't know what they're doing. It's, yeah. it's good to sort of practice that a bit. I was surprised and I'm impressed. Actually, the behavior level is yeah. better than most of the racing test days I've done. Maybe they want to fight me. It's because like they're here in their own car, most of them, you know, and they're here, they're going to drive it home as well. And they're here just for a bit of a laugh as opposed to, I think in the, the, the racing days, that you go at play yeah. as well, so. 100%. Well, I got put off here in an Ascari doing 190 by someone in a Ford Fiesta once on a test, on an official test day, which wasn't much fun. That was actually within the snow. Holy shit. So it was a long journey trying to <laughs> yeah, slow it down yeah. before I hit the grandstand at the chicane. But it's mega, really enjoyed it, thank you. Oh, thank um, you man. Thanks to Holly Events for bringing us to their lovely garage. Mm. Um, and for you risking your beautiful car. Beautiful um, for the overstatement, but I appreciate the, uh, the kind words. Well, anyway. maybe one day you'll, you'll <laughs> you know, beat those panels out a bit. I don't know how you go from this to the Mazda, but I guess you're, you're developing a you know, full breadth of, of um, skill set. So exactly. right, After mate. this, this is a heart attack. This is like a nice chill experience. A nice so. chill time. Yeah. All right, I'll see you on the Nerdburg ring for the next one. Yeah, definitely, mate.